ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਮਰੰਦਾ ਨੇ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡਿਸਕਸਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਡਾਈਜੈਸਟਿਵ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਸੋ ਅਕਰੋਸ ਦਾ ਹੋਲ ਪਲੈਨਟ ਹਿਊਮਨਸ ਈਟ ਔਨ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ 1 ਐਂਡ 2.7 ਕਿਲੋਗ੍ਰਾਮਸ ਆਫ ਫੂਡ ਅ ਡੇ ਦੈਟਸ ਓਵਰ 365 ਕਿਲੋਗ੍ਰਾਮਸ ਅ ਈਅਰ ਪਰ ਪਰਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਮੋਰ ਥੈਨ 28800 ਕਿਲੋਗ੍ਰਾਮਸ ਓਵਰ ਦਾ ਕੋਰਸ ਆਫ ਅ ਲਾਈਫ ਟਾਈਮ and every last scrap makes its way through the digestive system comprised of 10 organs covering 9 meters and containing over 20 specialized cell types this is one of the most diverse and complicated systems in the human body its parts continuously work in unison to fulfill a singular task transforming the raw materials of your food into the nutrients and energy that keep you alive spanning the entire length of your torso the digestive system has four main components first there's a gastrointestinal tract the twisting channel that transports your food and has an internal surface area of between 30 and 40 square meters enough to cover half a badminton court second there is the pancreas gallbladder and liver a trio of organs that break down food using an array of special juices third the body enzymes hormones nerves and blood all work together to break down food modulate the digestive process and deliver its final products finally there's the mesentery a large stretch of tissue that supports and positions all your digestive organs in the abdomen enabling them to do their jobs the digestive process begins before food even hits your tongue and is spitting a tasty morsel glands in your mouth start to pump out saliva we produce about 1.5 liters of this liquid each day once inside your mouth chewing combines with the sloshing saliva to turn food into a moist lump called the bolus enzymes present in the saliva break down any starch then your food finds itself at the rim of a 25 cm long tube called the esophagus down which it must plunge to reach the stomach nerves in the surrounding esophagus tissue sense the bolus presents and trigger peristalsis a series of defined muscular contractions that propels the food into the stomach where it's left at the mercy of the muscular stomach walls which bound the bolus breaking it into chunks hormones secreted by cells in the lining trigger the release of acids and enzyme rich juices from the stomach wall that start to dissolve the food and break down its proteins These hormones also alerts the pancreas, liver and gallbladder to produce digestive juices and transfer bile a yellowish green liquid that digests fat. In preparation for the next stage, after 3 hours inside the stomach, the once shapely bolus is now a frothy liquid called chyme. And it's ready to move into the small intestine. Liver sends bile to the gallbladder which secretes it into the first portion of the small intestine called the duodenum here it dissolves the fats floating in the slurry of chyme so they can be easily digested by the pancreatic and intestinal juices that have leached onto the scene these enzymes with juices break the fat molecules down into fatty acids and glycerol for easier absorption into the body the enzymes also carry out the final deconstruction of proteins into amino acids and carbohydrates into glucose this happens in the small intestines lower regions the jejunum and the ileum which are coated in millions of tiny projectors called villi these create a huge surface area to maximize molecular absorption and transference into the blood stream the blood takes them on the final leg of their journey to feed the body's organs and tissues but it's not over quite yet leftover fiber water and dead cells 
sloughed off during digestion make it into the large intestine also known as the colon the body drains out most of the remaining fluid through the intestinal wall what's left is a soft mass called stool the colon squeezes this byproduct into a pouch called the rectum where nerve sense it expanding and tell the body when it's time to expel the waste the byproducts of digestion exit through the anus and the food's long journey typically lasting between 30 and 40 hours is finally complete subscribe to varam dani for more informative content